everybody has staying here and today we're going to be doing a gunplug delivery and plus some other stuff uh i got three things from uh gamestop and then uh another thing from uh hobby town in, in florence mississippi um Now, we're going to do these in two different videos, but I figure I'll go ahead and make it in one video and, you know, do the gunplug delivery and then the other things. Um, so, again, maybe this will be a series. I don't know. I know I pretty much keep starting a series and I don't do nothing with it. A gunplug delivery is going to continue being uh, one thing. And then uh, if I have, you know, this and I have some other stuff that I want to show along with it, then, you know, it will be gunplug and other things. So, anyway, let's go ahead and get into it. Uh, first thing we got here, you know, four kits in this box. Uh, now they're all BB Cinches, and normally what I really don't get these kind of things. But I mean, they're better than you know what you uh, have been getting. Uh, hopefully, the back ends on are not hollowed out. Uh, we've already opened the box and went through them. Uh, just make sure that everything was in there. It's something I always do. Always, I can't wait to look at them, so I'm always unboxing them and. Uh, take them out of the box and looking at them. But kind of give it like a quick little thing. You get, you know, two little bags, uh, a bunch of bunch of stickers, and of course your little manual as usual. Um, These are probably the only thing, only BB Cinchy things I'll ever get, or BB or uh, whatever they're called. I don't really plan on buying a bunch of them. I bought these because they're different than what you normally get. Because uh, you normally get, uh, you know, just guns and small bodies. I really don't like it, but you know, these are sort of kind of more animated, so that's why I got them. Um, pretty much box and all that stuff. As you see here, is uh, 1,000 yen list price. And then we got this other one in here. Uh, if you watch uh, Justinius builds, uh, I guess you thought the RX-78 or someone told him the RX-78 came with the most, the, you know, the beard. Uh, I think it was this one they meant, not that one, because he has a beard, of course. Um, it shows you all that stuff. And then, let's see, we get that in focus. List price of a thousand yen. I pop this one open. As well, along with the other one, you get two little bags. Uh, it's a nice, nice shade of blue, I think. And of course, your manual. So there's a quick look of that one. And then we get a Cubelet. And we got this Cubelet. Uh, Dio Chan Cubelet, in general, something. Um, she don't really come with much of anything, uh, you know, she got the little carry thing or whatnot. Um, and of course, same thing with the other ones, 1,000 yen. I'm going to pop her open. Now, I knew these weren't going to be like the painted pictures were. These are uh, stickers, other parts you see that some of the crown fell off. And then you get the little stand she's supposed to carry on, or you stack them up either way you want to do it. So, that's her. Now, the reason why I got these is because they're small and they're like that. Of course, like I said earlier, they're different than what you normally get. And then I got this one. I didn't get the other ones because they didn't really. Uh, it's kind of funny I say this, but if it doesn't speak to me in a way, or if I don't think it looks nice, I don't get it. Uh, I know some people just buy Gunplug to buy it, but me, though, if I don't like what I'm buying, I, just, I mean, what I'll see, I just don't buy it. And, of course, come on. Of course, now it doesn't want to focus. And, of course, a thousand yen like the others. Uh, my major gripe would be that they're stickers instead of, you know, a movable mono eye, but that's fine. And then, of course, you know, his guys are always going to be off looking off to the, um, the left. 
And then of course you get the little guys with it and your manual as usual. So got him as well. Okay, well that's it for the gunpla delivery part of the video. Now I'm gonna go ahead and get into everything else I got. All right, the next thing I got was this tall geese in this watch version. Um, it's the uh, the limited uh, a limited item. Uh, I got it from uh, Hobby Town, USA, in Florence, Mississippi. Um, I never really was gonna buy this. For the simple fact that at the USA Gun Store they wanted like $119 for it. But I went to Hobby Town and got it for $79.99 uh, or $75.99. I can't re really remember. But I got it for a whole lot cheaper than what you would have paid for it at USA Gun Store. Um, it doesn't really have a list price on it. Of course, you know, it's just regular old. Um, it's a regular old P Bandai kit. I'll go ahead and run into it. So you get that nice little glossy white over a lot of parts. Then you get this uh, golden one. I mean, this golden runner, of course, for all the yellow. Uh, another thing I like about it is the silver. These uh, silver um, parts look really, really nice. Um, of course, you get some more parts and stuff like that, but I'm really not going to go all much into it. Now, for me, I'm not really uh, a fan of the Endless Waltz uh, Tall Geese. I prefer the you know the TV version. Uh, now, when they came out with the real grade, I was kind of disappointed that they made it out of this. Uh, of this instead of the um, TV version or any of the other ones really I I do predict that uh, before too long they will make the ones from the TV show but the bad thing about it though they're probably all gonna be P Bandai um, I mean you think about all the uh, endless watch versions are P Bandai so they're probably gonna make these P Bandai uh, we might get lucky for a normal release of you know the high grades and they're probably gonna make them all um, you know the, the Match grades they did into uh, real grades, which I'll probably do that before they do the, um, you know, P Bandai Master Grades TV versions of all of them, just like they did with all this. But, um, just, I wish they would, you know, make TV versions. I prefer those over the, mo I mean, the movie, the Wing Zero, and all of them look cool, but I really like these movie versions better, whether it be in high grade or, um, you know, Master Grade, as long as it's not that old crap from the 90s, because I don't like the hands on them and they're really cheaply made looking. Uh, well, I say this is what I got at Hobby Town USA. We we'll go ahead and get what I got into at GameStop. Now, originally wasn't going to get nothing uh, at GameStop. I was going to get it at the Hobby Town, but they, uh, you know, the gunplay that they had didn't re didn't really speak to me. And plus, uh, they were supposed to have new gunplay when I went there, but they didn't. Uh, apparently, Bluefin was late with their order or something, or something happened, so they didn't have it when uh, I, I went up there. But they should now. I was gonna do go through yesterday, but then I, uh, I mean, Easter Sunday. But then I remembered it was Easter Sunday, so I, I knew they were closed because I'm not mistaken. I saw a sign and it said they were gonna be closed today. So anyway, I went to the GameStop near there, there, and uh, they had um, some Gundam figures there, or my Gundam kit there. But they didn't, I mean, none of them really, you know, stuck to me. And plus, anyway, they didn't put prices on them. Um, so when I went up there and talked to the old dude, he looked at, you know, he checked the prices for these for me. But uh, anyway, let's go ahead and get into the first thing. The first thing we got here is a Naruto figure. Now this is Naruto from Boruto. Which you wouldn't be able to tell if this light wasn't messing with it. But see, you can see right there, Boruto, that's Naruto. Um, I wanted to get some more figures that wasn't Gundam. Uh, to go with my Dragon Ball Z stuff that I have. It's not very much. It's like the, uh, I almost say the high grade Gohan, the Goku, and the little, you know, the little bitty figures of Goku and Broly, uh, Super Saiyan Goku and regular Goku. So I got this one. 
Uh, I think, you know, this Naruto looks pretty cool. Uh, I never watched Boruto. Don't really ever plan on watching it. If I did, I would probably watch it until Naruto dies, and I wouldn't watch it no more. Um, just because, I, you know, it's so ingrained with Naruto, and I like Naruto uh, as a character. Um, I think it probably would have been, you know, a little bit better if Boruto was before Naruto. Sorry. If Boruto was before Naruto, and then Naruto happened, but, I mean, I know, you know, it's like, you know, they wanted to carry it on. So they made Boruto. And the reason why I say Naruto, you know, Naruto, and you see Naruto, and he's died. Oh, that's cool. You know, the, uh, the, the Hokage, or whatever he is. And then, you know, he dies in there, and then that series goes on. And then when that series ends, Naruto starts. And then you're like, oh, so that's who that guy was. Okay, and you don't need to see his story. But, you know, so it being prequelized, prequel, prequeled, I guess, you know, going along with it, you know, going on from Naruto is cool. Anyway, and I'm going to tangent all about other stuff. I'm sorry. Um, I do plan on doing an unboxing and review on this guy. Uh, and there's not really much to say. It's just, you know, how about the paint and stuff like that. But, uh, I'm not going to try to drag it out to do an unboxing and then do a review. So I'm going to do an unboxing and review for this guy. Um, so we'll go ahead and pull him off to the side. And the next thing I got from, uh, GameStop is this figure of Goku. Um, uh, now, if you go to the BigBadToyStore.com, this one, I didn't ever seen this one on there. But I think they do have, like, uh, specials that they do with these. Like, 50 bucks, you get this one and another one. It's a dual pack. Um, now, if someone's wondering, what well, do you get both of these guys in the figure? I mean, of course, you can tell they don't. The box is pretty small. So, you know, you only get, you know, the one figure. Uh, I watched someone else do, like, an unboxing one day, and they were confused. And But, I mean, there's nothing to be confused about. You only get this one guy. And if you go to USA Gun Store, or not USA, if you go to Big Bad Toy Store, you might be able to, you know, get a set of, you know, this Goku and another Goku. Uh, now, with this thing, I've already opened it up, looked inside, I didn't take anything out. But what I can see, you have to put the arms into the body, and of course you have to put them on the display base. Um, but like the Naruto, it's going to have an unboxing and review in the same video. Um, so let's go ahead and get into the next figure thing I have. And the next figure I have, shout out to uh, Sakura Aurelius. I have the same figure. That's mainly the reason why I got it. There's not really no other reason. And it's this uh, version of Goku. That's this version of Goku, um, you know, drinking out of his canteen and all that kind of stuff. Uh, I saw him have it. I mean, I saw that he had it. And, and I saw that, hey, that's what uh, Sakura Aurelius has. So I, I bought it. I was going to buy this regardless. Um... Some side views, my light is like right in the way. I bought this light, uh, but anyway, on the side you get you know picture of Goku and of course what choking hazards. Um, I guess you see, let y'all see this just in case you want to see uh, what else they might have on this website. There you go. Just go to that and you can see what they have. I never, I haven't gone to it. I don't know exactly what you get there, but I'm pretty sure you probably you know uh, check out other stuff that they got. Alrighty, that's it for this Gunplug delivery and other things. Um, let me know what you thought about the video. Uh, leave a like, subscribe, and all that great stuff. Um, now, I'm going to start talking about the kits. Uh, the kits, I do plan on doing reviews and unboxing, well, unboxings and reviews. Uh, unboxings first and then reviews. Or I might just do it all in one video because they're kind of small. I don't know yet. Uh, but I know for the fact that Goku's and the... Uh, Naruto figures are going to get a unboxing plus review video. Uh, I'm sorry that I haven't done the GM Command Space type. I haven't did the Nemo. Uh, I've gotten the unboxings. I just didn't do the reviews for them. I got a few other kids that I've done unboxings for, but I haven't done reviews for. I haven't got them up on my channel. Uh, hopefully, I'll stop being lazy and I'll actually get around to doing the reviews. Another thing is I'm going to stop uh, uploading unboxings if I don't have the reviews recorded because if i do uh, i do the unboxing and then the unboxing just sits there then you know it's pretty much cheating everybody else out of a video so i won't i'm going to stop doing my unboxings before i even get the reviews recorded but anyway like i said just you know like rate i keep all saying rate like comment and subscribe uh hit that subscribe button to where you can see my videos uh, i know this is a big uh let me talk about another thing uh, i know this is a big thing going on to where uh, you know, YouTube wants you to, people, wants you to get your people to click the bell notification, so they know you upload. Uh, if you're anything like me, I, 
I don't even use that because, I mean, if you think about it, if you use that bell thing, like, oh, let's say every one of your people you subscribe to upload videos, that would get very annoying very quickly. And like, just like when I was just doing that, it was getting very annoying. Um, so I would recommend uh, if you have a YouTube you like, don't let a notification, go to your YouTube app, look down your list. Oh, there's a video of this guy I like. Okay, I'll watch this video. Do it that way. Don't wait on the notifications because you might not ever get them. Or follow the person on Twitter if you want a notification. That'll probably be good too. Uh, let's plug my Twitter, I guess, and all that kind of stuff. Uh, it's down in this comment, uh, down in the um, link down below. All that good stuff. You can check out my Twitter and my uh, Instagram. I really don't post much. And when I'm working on something or putting something together, I post it. I can't really say I'm working on anything because, I mean, I just put them together. I don't paint them. So, uh, but, you know, uh, if you go, you'll see a bunch of work in, I guess, work in progress on this Nanju head bust. I'm taking a break from that because uh, it was going well. It was going together pretty quickly. But then when you get to the uh, big old thruster boosters on the back, those took a long time. And then I got tired. And plus, anyway, I got sick. So, I need to get my unicorn head bust off the floor. Uh, before I break all the pieces on it by stepping on it and put them in the box. Uh, they're just laying on the floor since I did the unboxing um, for them. Um, which I might do that unbox. That might be an unboxing that won't need a review uh, until, you know, until I, you know, get it done. Uh, but anyway, that's it. I guess I'll talk to you later. Hosting signing out. Uh, one other thing. Uh, if you have any ideas of what I could do to grow my channel or what I could do to make my channel better, let me know in the comments down below. Um, I would really like to get better at doing this, um, despite my internet. But like I said, just leave a comment down below. Let me know what I could do to make my channel better. Uh, let me know if there's some things you might want to see or whatever. And maybe it wants to get, you know, people are commenting on my videos and maybe, you know, they'll give me that drive to do it. Uh, but yeah, rambling on. Uh, talk to y'all later. Bye.